Hi everyone, happy Saturday. It's really pretty outside and warm. It's officially the first day of summer for me. Um, May 7th. And I know this because of how um, my dad sent us on our family chat, he sent a picture of a robin. And it's uh, usually the first sign of, of summer coming out. And here in Alaska, um, in the past few years, we've been getting more, these warmer, these warmer summers and everything's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I thought that today I'd share some thoughts and see what everyone might think uh, about my thoughts. So today I was considering because uh, I'm not in my 20s anymore. Let me just put it that way. But I was thinking about how people or this world we live in values youthfulness and we're told that we're supposed to value youthfulness right and I think that that's good except that it's a misdirection I think because we're taught that younger people are more valuable oftentimes um and we I think that I want to start putting out the idea that we want to break the mold um, or, and that youthfulness and that people who are youthful have certain qualities that people who are older do not. And I disagree with all of that a hundred percent. Um, it makes me think of those, <laughs> those old Vogue covers on magazines that used to talk about being graceful at any age or being beautiful at any age. <laughs> but I noticed that when you're told that you look so young, you're actually being told you look so vibrant. You seem so fresh and fun and full of joy and energy. You're creative more. See, I think that we, we, we need to disengage from the idea that this is exclusive only to young people. And by young, I mean chronologically. It's more of living in an optimized state uh, to me. And I haven't come up with a better term for that yet. It's more, um, it's the best I've come up with. It's, it's just your optimum self. And I think that that can be fully embodied on a cellular level, on a subatomic level, uh, mental, emotional level, all of that freedom you experience um, as yourself um, before the structure that we live in sets in and all of the, the restrictions and rules and expectations are placed upon us. That's us as our optimum self. And that usually comes up more when we are younger, but it doesn't have to be that way. And I think that um, the more energy you have, and I don't mean that anxious, jittery energy. I mean, the more energy you have for that expansive energy of being creative and feeling like you have room in your life to design things or be innovative. I've noticed that a lot of people who live from that who are usually really, really successful, amazing people. Um, and oftentimes they, the ones that are just glowing with that amazing energy, they're pretty vital and they are mistaken for someone younger. And it's just because they are pure they have more purity to themselves and they're closely connected with who they are um, away from the typical expectations and, and um, ideas of what are, we're supposed to be 
placed upon them. They don't have any association with that. So I want to just posit the question is, how do you feel you are at your most optimum self? Do you think that you should disengage it from the idea that you have to be younger to do that? Um, and I personally believe that you're not being, you're not younger when you're like this. You're, again, you're more optimized. You're whole and fully connected with yourself. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'm just cleaning. Um, I'm going to go run a recycling run and can't wait to see what you have to say. Bye.